using pain in life to express this pain through beauty, to take the suffering that you endure and express it on the paper for the world to see. To take and remove, if possible, all the pain, to pour it onto the paper, and to have that be the way that the world understands your suffering. That's one way I view art. That's one way it's always helped me. There are many different ways it does help, but that being the one good reason why I continue to create, because who would I be and what would I be without it? It's always been there for me my entire life. It's always been something that I enjoy doing day after day. When I wake up in the morning, I think to myself, not a matter of if I'm going to create, but what am I going to create? I put so much effort into it over and over and over again. So many obstacles that come up to try to hold me back, to push me down, to make me give up. But I see those challenges as something that will only be there to improve me. And I know that if I keep trying and doing my best, that what really matters is that I didn't give up. That I continue pursuing that because it's something that makes me happy. And using artwork to express the pain that you're going through in life has been something that's always helped me deal with stress, deal with not having someone to talk to, with not having anybody that really understands you because it's just me, that piece of paper and I'm putting my ideas on it. I'm taking everything that's inside here and everything that's inside here and putting it on that paper and I'm doing my best to try to make something out of it, try to make something out of the nonsense of my mind at times to where I don't feel like going on or I don't feel like pushing myself the next day. I always had an art there to turn to, I always had it there to help me through each and every day. And a lot of the artwork that I create, most of it's very abstract, a lot of it is very dark, very strange, you don't really know what you're looking at, you don't even know where these ideas are coming from. What are all these faces that are in these drawings? All these, um, it just looks like suffering in a lot of it. It looks like complete chaos, but I think we all have sides of us that sometimes we don't show other people or that we don't talk about because we may lose friends or we may lose the people in our life or those that are around us and we tend to hold that back because we fear that we might not get accepted and drawing is one of the ways for me to be myself to create things and do things that I can actually express what I'm thinking and Now that I've been drawing for about 24 years, consistently and constantly, I look back on what I started creating. I look at, I look at what I'm making now. I look at the events that have happened throughout my life. And all the times that I didn't think that 
I had much of a reason for anything, much of a a purpose in life, or that I didn't have anything or anyone to turn to that was always there for me. It was always something that helped me get through the day. And as I've gotten older and I look back 10 years ago, when I had a huge um, change in life from moving and everything with family and all that happened, I was so far back in life as far as socializing as far as friendships and my interactions with people I I felt uncomfortable I didn't really know how to go about having conversations with people how to go about making new friends because I didn't have any friends the only friend I had um, which would be pretty much just drawing that's always been the thing that's been there for me and I had to work on my social skills I had to work on interacting with people I had to work on trying to make friends um, and the interactions that I had with people in school and trying to express the ideas and thoughts that I have to them when you live a life that's so different when you don't have anybody that you can completely even connect with or anybody that can even understand your perspective or what you're dealing with in life and my mind and my body was completely adjusted to dealing with being stressed all day to dealing with what's going to happen next what encounter am I going to have with somebody what is someone going to try to do with me now Every day was a struggle. Every day was just a guessing game of, of what if, what if this happens, or what if that happens. And when you don't have anybody to connect to with that, when there's not anybody that can really understand what you're going through, or to talk to you, you feel completely isolated. Surrounded by all these people that you can talk to, but they don't have the ability to understand from your point of view what you're dealing with and you can always talk about your problems you can always say things but I always had to take action I couldn't just sit around and let days go by and years go by without doing anything about it I had to take action and try to improve my life to make things better couldn't just keep letting it all pass by, expecting some miracle to just happen. And that maybe one day life will get better. Maybe one day I'll be able to express the ideas that I have. If you just sit around waiting all day, wishing, hoping, it may never happen. So you've got to get up and take action. So using pain to express your ideas, emotions and everything. That's something I do really good at, I think. And I'm gonna work on doing that more now. You know, a lot of the stuff that I've created before it was either making portraits or doing um, designs of something that was abstract but didn't have any of the inside being expressed through that art and I need to start doing that I need to start creating it despite what people might think of it They're, despite the critics that tell me that they don't like it but it's not a good idea to hold yourself back and to not be yourself just because everybody tells you that they don't accept it accepted most of my life and isolation loneliness pain those aren't strangers to me I dealt with that most of the time and so now with 
this to creativity, drawing. It's become more than a passion, it's become an obsession, really. It's kind of like, what are you if you can't breathe? What you don't really last very long. And that's how drawing is for me in a way. I try to step back from it for a little while. Maybe a day or two. I can already tell that I'm not quite as happy. I don't feel like I have much of a purpose for anything. I don't feel like doing much. Though I like to take breaks now and again. I do notice that if I take too long of a break, I start losing that creativity. I don't feel like um, doing anything but drawing it. But I'll keep creating and I'll do my best to try to express the ideas that I have and express my pain through art and put that onto the paper or the canvas for everybody to see. tell me that they don't like it, if they tell me that they don't like what I'm creating, then they don't have to look at it, they don't have to see, because people just want to put me down, that doesn't bother me any, because I've been put down my whole life, I've been told that I wouldn't be anything, I was told that I wouldn't be anyone in life, that I would never want anything, that I was told by them that I didn't deserve anything. I didn't deserve happiness, I didn't deserve love, I didn't deserve peace. So people won't tell me that I can't make it in life, or that I'm nobody. Well, they're just wasting their time because it's not something I'm focused on. Focus on this, and I'm not gonna give up. Giving up isn't an option because, well, it means everything to me.